Hey everyone, my name is Micah. My pronouns are they, them, and he, him. And I am shooting this video today from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I am very excited for the opportunity to talk to you today about a form of agriculture called hydroponics. So this shipping container looks very similar to what you might see on an Amazon Prime truck. It's refrigerated, it is climate controlled, and inside you will find grow lights, HVAC, airflow, CO2, you name it. Hey guys, welcome to the inside of the farm. Behind me, we have two sets of towers. You're looking at the left side, which is growing some lettuce closest to us. And then down the line, we have some basil and some Thai basil growing. And on the right side here, we have different herbs. We have lemon balm that's closest to us. We're also growing sage, thyme, and experimenting with romaine lettuce. So hydroponics is a form of agriculture that uses nutrient-enriched water to grow food grow plants. To my right side here, I have two tubs. I have a tub of A nutrients. So this is liquid nutrients, A macronutrients, and then we also have a tub of B. These are the micronutrients. And then to my right side here, you'll see some of the dosing boxes that we pour these nutrients directly into. So the first step to growing food in this system involves a seeding cell tray. These are used in outdoor farms too. And instead of soil, we use these grow plugs. I don't know if you can see that little hole right there, but we seed directly into these. Um, and this feels kind of spongy, sponge-like. It's actually made of coconut husk and peat moss. The seedling trays sit in this lower level, the germination station, for one week. When you see the first leaves pop up, they get moved from this level to the nursery, which is the second level. So after those three weeks, it's time to transplant from those seedling trays into a vertical tower. And the seedlings are transplanted directly into these towers um, from the seedling trays, nestled in between the felt and the foam at a 45 degree angle so they don't drip. So this PVC white tube, water drips down the black nozzles, down the backs of these towers. It hits this wicking strip at the very top and if you ever felt wet felt it evenly distributes water from the top of the tower to the bottom making sure all of the seedlings get the water and the nutrients that they need to grow the nice thing about this container though is that even though we are growing about two three acres worth of food it all runs on about five to ten gallons of water per day um, but right now i have all of the fans all of the dehumidifiers and ac off I want to turn those on to give you a sense of what it feels like to work in this environment. Um, I'm also going to turn on the main grow lights. So right now this is actually the farm's nighttime for the plants. So these plants are sleeping. And then when I turn on the red and blue, those pink lights in the main grow area, that's technically the farm's daytime. Thanks for stopping by today. Have a great day.